In this video, I'm going to show you how to query in Splunk. So Splunk is a powerful query language called Search Processing Language. This allows you to search, filter, and analyze your machine data. So in this video, I'll guide you through the basics of querying in Splunk to get the most of your data. So first, uh, make sure you log into your Splunk instance. Open your browser and go to the uh, link. Once you're logged in, you'll be taken to the Splunk dashboard. To start querying your data, you need to go to the search and reporting app in the top left corner of your Splunk dashboard. So you will see there the search and reporting. This will open the search interface where you can start writing your queries. Once you're in the search page, you can start typing your SPL query. The most basic query is to search for a specific data index and source type. So in this case, I'm going to show you an example of how to use this query. So as you can see on this screen, this is the example of query we're going to use. So just simply paste it in the search bar and then click this search button. And assumingly, we have a data in here. So in this case, I don't have yet a data. So what does index equals main mean? This is specifies the index to search. While the source type equals syslogs, this filter the data based on the source type. So if you want to filter and refine your query, you can refine your queries by using various commands in SPLs like time filtering, field filtering, and using and and or. You can combine multiple conditions with logical operators. Now, to use commands to summarize and aggregate data, Splunk allows you to summarize and aggregate data using commands like stats and time chart. So, you can use the count the number of events by field or create a time chart, group events by field, and that's it. So, uh, to, if you need to extract specific data from your logs, you can use field extractions or regular expressions with the rex command. So, uh, once you've written your query and are happy with the result, you can save it for your future use. So as you can see on the upper right corner, you will see there a save as button on the top of the search panel. Just simply click on that and then choose the save query as a report, alert, or dashboard panel depending on how you want to use it. You can also share it with others or add it to your dashboard. And that's it. That's how you query in Splunk. If you found this video helpful, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to the YouTube channel.